What's going on guys? I'm back with another video and in this video I will be talking about the best tips for you guys to make sure you get fives on all your AP tests, especially since they're now open note and online. Tip number one guys, have a note guide before you start taking the AP exam or whatever it is. For example, say it's AP Calc, right? Before you sit down for that AP Calc test, you should have a nice note guide that has all the formulas that you need to know for derivatives, for integrals, um, key concepts that you, you know may forget like the fundamental theory of calculus, second fundamental theory. It's been a while since I'm taking AP Calc. So, you know, if I'm rusty, just let me know. But you should have a note, sh note sheet. So that's, that way, when you're doing a problem, you don't have to go through all your notes that you've taken throughout the year and try to find which sheet of notes uh, talks about integrals. If you have a note sheet, right, that has basically all of your notes combined into one, all the important pieces from all your notes you've taken throughout the year, combined to one sheet, maybe front and back, maybe even two sheets, then it'll be so much easier for you to find what you are trying to find. And you won't have to spend valuable time going through piles of notes just to find one key concept about integrals because you only have 45 minutes, guys. You you have no time at all, all right? This isn't the hour 30 AP test we're used to. This is a 45 minute exam, nice and fast. You better get it. So have a nice note, guys. Tip number two. Now this can go hand in hand with your note sheet. So you can have your note sheet on one side you can also have a practice exam, a past AP test that has been released for the AP exam you're taking. So let's take AP Physics, right? You have your note sheet for AP Physics out, like the formula sheet, some formulas that aren't included on the formula sheet. And then you have a previous exam for AP Physics out as well. Because on every AP exam, right, questions that are similar to previous exams questions are on the test. Like, for example, if you use AP Calc, there is a, a graphical analysis, a curve analysis question on the 2016 AP test. You should have maybe the entire 26 AP, 2016 AP exam out because say you sit down for the AP exam uh, in like two, three days, right? And you look and there's a curve analysis question on it. And you're like, oh, how do I answer these questions? How do I do these questions? Just look at the 2016 one. You'll be like, oh, okay, so this is how you do it. Then you can just answer the graphical analysis question on your AP exam by using the 2016 version as reference because you know the work is usually the same the whole uh flow the uh, the theories all that is usually the same it's just like different characters uh different numbers but everything else is the same like the actual fundamentals are the same so having a practice exam for reference can be a really really good help especially when you're faced with very difficult questions or when you're faced with questions that you kind of know how to do which you don't know exactly how to do because these ap tests a lot of people will be getting fives. So if you're not in that group that's getting fives or at least fours, it's gonna be very difficult for colleges to look at your AP test and give you any credit or any value for it. Because theoretically, these should be the easiest AP exams of your life, right? Because you have every resource you could possibly use. Now, of course, there's certain drawbacks with uh, bandwidth issues, online issues, distractions. But colleges, they're gonna be looking at these AP tests like if you didn't get a five, something's wrong if we didn't get a four something's wrong so make sure you have a note guide out make sure you have some practice exams out so that you can look for a reference and you should be able to get a five on any ap test all right maybe history no because i've never taken a push and because i'm not a fan of history but a push i heard of the dbqs it takes a lot of time to read the dbq and like 30 minutes it may take to for you to understand the dbq and you have 15 minutes to write about it and that's i don't know about that i've never taken a push but that for, for a subject like a push Previous exams probably won't help you, and a note sheet probably won't help you either. So good luck. But in general, for AP tests such as AP Calc, maybe AP English, definitely AP Physics, AP CompSci, AP CompSci Principles, AP Psych, have a note sheet and have practice exams out. That's how you can almost guarantee that five guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Use these tips. They will help you. I'm telling you, they will help you so so much. Hope you guys like the video. Peace. Good luck.